this for an infant? Like a newborn, probably, infant? <laughs> Look, I know something. What do you buy now? exactly eight more weeks to go obviously it could be eight weeks it could be six weeks um who knows but yeah so my due date is september 3rd so eight more weeks i would you know give or take um so i obviously i'm 32 weeks today so i'm going to re be reviewing week 31. this week was definitely like welcoming welcoming back morning sickness i was so sick this week. Um, morning sickness started back two weeks ago, but it's definitely been more this week, which I don't know why. Maybe like it finally went away when I hit the third trimester, you know, just off and on. And then it started this week being like every other day getting sick or every day getting sick. It's just weird. Um, but I have my notes on my phone. Um, I had a doctor's appointment on the third, which I had a, do a growth scan and a doctor's appointment. And if you're new to my channel, the reason I have growth scans once a month is because I have a bicornate uterus. So they just make sure I have enough room for the baby and check my cervix to make sure they're not shortening and all that good stuff. But they said the baby was disgustingly healthy, which is kind of a weird way to say it, but I'll take it. He said it in a joking way. Um, but yeah, everything looked great. I have my next appointment is next week, next Tuesday, and that's a regular doctor's appointment. And then I have an appointment after that two weeks later, and I think it's August, not August, July 30th. And it's a few days before I go away on vacation because I'm going on vacation for a week. Um, and it's about two and a half hours away, three hours away. So before I go, they just want to make sure, you know, do one more um, growth scan and check my cervix before I go away. So make sure they're not shortening and I don't have to worry. But I definitely will be bringing my hospital bag and the car seat will be installed in the truck just in case. Um, even if everything looks good on the scan and everything, I'm still having the stuff with me. Um, oh, and I have gained one pound this month. I weigh 123 pounds. So a total gain of 100 and 124 pounds. A total weight gain of 14 pounds so far. Sorry that the lighting's going in and out. I'm sorry still for the, the echo that you hear in the room. Um, hopefully you won't hear the echo next week. Um, depending on when we get the fan. Next week we're getting the fan and putting that in. And as soon as the fan's put in, we can bring the um, we're bringing the furniture in. So then it will quiet down the echo. Um, the baby is in the 50th percentile, so it was going, just hovering around the 50th percentile area. It was like 52 before, then 55, and now it's at 50. So they said it's just hovering, which they said is healthy. It'll be better for delivery because I guess it won't be too big or too small. And we are, oh yeah, and we had, on the, during the ultrasound, the growth scan, we got two pictures, which actually I'm going to show you guys. You can see it's, there's its chin, its lips, and its nose, and it's like, its head is like tilted back, so you're kind of looking in its nostrils. I don't know how well you can see that, and then its eyes are up here, and it's covering it with its hand. But yep, there's our little baby, and I, I mean, obviously it has enough room, that's what they say, so I believe them, <laughs> but it definitely looks um, a little jam-packed, and I'm feeling for symptoms. I am feeling the baby move all day, all the time, and it has hiccups all the time, which is so cute. And it's kind of like where I can tell where its head's positioned, wherever it's like hiccuping. But oh my gosh, it has hiccups all the time, and it's moving. Like when it moves, it just like I don't know if it's because my stomach's so tiny. It just feels like it's like kind of almost makes me nauseous too. Like in the morning, if I feel sick and the baby's like kicking my like kicking my stomach and just moving so much, I feel like oh. Like that's gonna get like I feel like I'm gonna get sick more when it's doing that, but um yeah 
I love feeling the baby move except when it's in my ribs and like when I go to sit up it feels like oh my gosh I can't bend over all the way because or I can't sit up because it like it or something is stuck in my ribs and of course morning sickness I was sick um, I mentioned in a vlog I was having breakfast outside and I projectile vomited all over the patio and then later that night I was sick again and I don't know if it's because at both of those times I had milk and so leave a comment down below if maybe when you were pregnant you inherited a milk intolerance I don't know but I mean I had milk this morning but it was very very little and I didn't get sick so I don't know it was probably just a coincidence but yeah, just, and it wasn't even like I knew I was going to throw up. I just all of a sudden felt nauseous and I just, bleh, just threw up. I didn't even have time to run to the bathroom or anything. I was literally in my chair and I just looked over and projectile vomited. TMI, it was disgusting. Um, any new purchases? Yes. New purchases are we ordered the baby's blinds and we actually ordered blinds for her in this room and blinds for her in Rob's office. That's going to be the baby's room because we want the the um, second floor to match the blinds. So we ordered those. They're like the faux wood blinds. Um, but they're really nice and they haven't come in yet. And we're also getting, not until after the baby's born, um, because it's not going to be sleeping in here anyways, we're ordering um, Chevron blinds from Pottery Barn and we're waiting just because they are the blackout ones and they are expensive. So we're waiting for a while for those. I also purchased my hospital bag from Target, which should be in any day now. I thought it would be here today, but I haven't really kept track of the tracking information just because I'm not in like that big of a rush. So that should be here any day. Um, and I do need to make a list of well, I already have a hospital list, so I need to go to Target or Walmart and get, like, just cheap little, like, you know, clothes that I can wear at the hospital. Because I don't want to put my nice maternity clothes in the hospital bag when that's what I'm wearing right now. Um, I also got from, oh, I wanted to show you guys the maternity clothes that I got from Target. I got this white shirt from Tar from Old Navy, I'm sorry, I got this white shirt from Old Navy. I got this blue and white striped, well navy blue and white striped one and it, you can tell it's cinched on the side. And these are both size small and the only thing I don't like about them is I have to wear a shirt underneath because I don't know if it's like I'm like little up here but they didn't have any extra smalls and it, like I can't like pull it up because this will be like really baggy. But that's the only thing I don't like. I don't know if the extra smalls would do that but they didn't have any so. It's whatever. And I also got um, the skirt you can't see. I'll show you guys when I show my belly. And I forgot last week I didn't even show my belly, which I felt bad about. But And I am going to try to make more of a point to show my belly in the vlogs and stuff. Um, but if, you see my, if you've watched my vlogs, you've probably seen me in the skirt already. Um, my mom actually picked me up this um, little dress from... I'm going to say TJ Maxx. It's like a red, white, and blue dress. I wore it yesterday for the first day to get back to school. I think it's really cute. It's really comfortable. And I actually like the way this one fits me better than the one that, just like this, that I got at Target, which I've shown before. Got that from my mom from TJ Maxx, and this is from TJ Maxx, too. It's like a little cover-up for the pool that I'm going to be bringing on vacation with us. And that's really cute. And I got today, I showed you guys my um, big blanket that one of the ladies at work made for me, which was super nice. But I, she actually today brought in two of the Twiddlers that I mentioned. She makes little tiny blankets. That way they can bring them with them. And they're not like huge. Um, one is this color, which I love this color next to the paint on, in, the, in the nursery. So they're this size and they're cute because you can just bring them with you and you don't have to have that big um, huge one with you. So she got me this one which is just white on the ruffles and pure yellow like a mustard color on the blanket and then this one is the exact same type color of the big blanket. It's 
mustard yellow and white with the white um, ruffles and again I love it next to the paint so she got me two of those and she's like whenever you need um, new ones if those start getting you know messed up from the baby just let me know and she'll make whatever color like extra yarn that she has around and make me a bunch more so super nice and I thank her so much for that um, nursery update. We put up the trim. Obviously, I'm not going to show you until the nursery is completely done. Um, at least almost, almost done at least. But um, the trim is up. It looks so good. I mentioned in a vlog that we're not doing the crown molding. We're doing the crown molding, but we're going to wait until after the baby is born. Just because it is going to cost us another $150, $200 to do the crown molding. Um, and paint and all that stuff. And it looks, he did such a good job painting. So we're just going to leave it for now and then make, I'm going to make sure we do it because it is a smaller room. It's not like our downstairs. We didn't crown mold our downstairs either and we said we're going to, but this is such a, like a, a lot smaller of a room than downstairs that it'll be easy to do. Just need to really focus on the things that we need done right now. Um, so put the trim up. We laid the, the carpet down that I showed you guys. Um, obviously you didn't see it on, like, unrolled, but you will see that in the nursery tour. Um, anything new? I started summer school um, on Monday, which today's two, two days Wednesday, so um, it actually went. It's been going really fast. We only work Monday to Thursday from 8.45 to 9.00 to 1.15, which is really nice. Um, but then I have the whole rest of the day to do whatever I want, which is really nice. So I've just been, you know, hanging out, going to my mom's pool, and going swimming, and all that fun stuff. The best thing about this week was getting the trim put on. Um, I'm so happy that that's done, and it's just one step closer to bringing the furniture in, because the furniture has been downstairs for about a month and a half now, it feels, I'm going to say a month and a half, two months, a long time. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to bring that up and start like decorating and everything. Oh, and another great thing that happened today, um, we saw, I saw a side table that I really liked. It was like a um, dark, I don't know what color to describe it as, blue. Darker than this, like kind of like tealish blue I guess. I'm not good at describing colors. But it was really cute, but it was it was like crap crappily made. It was not um, made well. And it was $90 at Target. I really liked it, but for the price, and I knew that my breast pump would not fit in there or anything else. So I decided not to get it and I was gonna go around to Goodwill and find um a little nightstand that I could get and um my the teacher in my class She's great at refurbishing stuff, and she does it all the time. Um, we were going to just refurbish it, so we actually found um, we actually had a nightstand that we used in the classroom last year that would look great in here. Um, it's like the same style as the crib and stuff. So she actually gave me that, and um, we are going to paint it that color that we saw at that the nightstand was at Target and we found a really, today we went to um, Ross and we got two baskets, one that I'm going to put on the changing table and one that I'm going to use as the basket drawer and the nightstand and it looks so cute and it's going to look so great when it's all done and she's stenciling chevron on the top like a clear chevron and I cannot wait. And on the basket, it's the same color as the, it's white and the same color as the dresser, as the nightstand's going to be. And she's adding tiny little, like, yellow accents to the um, drawers, to the basket, which is going to make it look so cute. And I don't want the room to be so matchy-matchy because I'm going to have chevron curtains and chevron rug. I don't want it to be, like, you know, just everywhere. So I, the basket is a different design, which I like um, to like, have it a little mixed matchy. But I cannot wait until it's finished. Um, it's going to look so good. And I cannot wait to put like artwork on the wall and stuff like that. Um, Alright guys, well I felt like I blabbed a lot in this video. Oh yeah, the, sorry, the worst thing that happened this week, well it wasn't this week, it was last week. I don't know if I mentioned it in the video, I think. 
I, I know I meant to, um, is that my Love and Get Ho Reptar passed away. Um, he was sick for about a month and he would just not eat. He, I don't know why he was three years old and I definitely know that they live a lot longer than that, but he was just not happy and not eating and he passed away and me and Rob um, had to go to shoebox and put flowers in and stuff and put them in there and buried in the backyard next to the magnolia tree. But yeah, I was really depressed that day. Um, but I mean, some people don't care, it's a lizard, but I really liked him and I thought he was so cute. But um, so yeah, I was really sad last week about that. But anything else that happened, I don't think so. But Alright guys, I still don't know where my shower is. Leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do a shower haul. I know some people like those videos and some people don't like them at all because they think that the person's bragging. And I totally understand where both sides are coming from. So if I get more comments that say that you definitely shouldn't do that, I won't do it. And But if I get more comments that say they want me to do it, then I will go ahead and do that for you guys. Um, but thank you guys so much for supporting me. I can't believe I have 1,630 subscribers, which I'm so thankful for. And, you know, you can watch anyone else's videos. And I just appreciate that you guys watch my videos. It makes me feel so good. And just the YouTube community is amazing. And it's so great to see, like, so many people that have followed me from the very beginning getting pregnant. And I'm so happy for you guys. And... Like, Jenny's baby, oh my god, is so stinking cute. Um, her channel is That One Couple, and her baby, Rory, she had, um, I think, maybe four weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, is so stinking cute, and it's just crazy that, you know, I was watching her, and then now I'm pregnant, and I'm having my baby in eight weeks, and it's just crazy to think how fast that time has gone when... I know all my uh, a lot of my subscribers that followed me from the beginning are like, how has this flown by so fast? And I don't know. And I pray that, you know, when the baby's born, I take each day as its own and just cherish each day because I know how fast they're going to grow up and it's going to be in the blink of an eye. And I definitely want to, you know, take each day for what it is and just thank God for it. Alright guys, well thank you guys so much for following my journey and all the comments that you guys send my way. Um, before I go, I just want to stand up and show you my belly because I know I, I always forget to show it. Um, but here it is from the front. And I love wearing white because you definitely looks bigger with white on. From the side, I'm going to move my hands. And this side. And then in the back. Alright guys, well I hope you guys liked this video. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright guys, bye! Oh, and this is the um, skirt that I've gotten from Old Lady. Alright guys, see ya!